Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Viewpoints with me, your boy, the man, Inja, Inja, Inja to the city with the number two, T.O. Let's go into this analysis, shall we? Um, Quick thing, heads up. Um, If you have uh, recently just looked at the uh, Back to School album playlist, I'm so sorry that I've done this to you, but at the same time, it helps me to a certain degree. Now, I do feel like I'm cheating the fans when I did this, or whenever I do this. But mainly when I do it like I just did it, I feel like I'm cheating the fans. Even though half of you probably haven't heard some of this music and probably need to hear it again. Or, you know, re-rolled out on a new album. What I did was, um, instead of giving you an entire 12 or more new songs, what I've just done is I've just put... Well, not, well you know, the, the Viewpoints videos don't really count in that total. What counts is the actual, actual songs that have already been released like two, three, four, five, six, seven months ago that I'm rehatching out or I'm re-rolling out on this new project just to fill up space on it, honestly. But the, the reason why I did it is, number one, it's still useful towards the fact being if you haven't heard the song, it brings it back up to your attention. Number two, it actually fits the skin fit because I wouldn't put it on here if it didn't fit the skin fit, honestly. I look at that as you're still forcing material out there. You know, for people in certain cases. And then it's just the fact being that, you know, hey, why not to a certain degree? Like, it does help me to a certain degree. But how does it help you? What it helps me with is because, like I say, I can't figure out whether to make this album, this back-to-school album, as for all my dearly beloved kids out there. Elementary, middle, high school, college. But definitely, you listen to, you know, these songs, you're, you'll think that a majority of them are for the middle and high schoolers. But, hey, they're for everybody, pretty much. But... This album, like I say, is for the kids, for all my dearly beloved younglings out there who, once again, are still in, in, in middle school, I guess, you know, you know all in the elementary school. Like the, I call the elementary schools my younger younglings, pretty much what I call them. I call my my just regular younglings, I call them the, the, the middle schoolers and the freshmen and sophomores that are in high school, but I call the uh, younger younglings the ones that are in elementary, but you get the point. This I still make music for them, and I still love them here, care about them very deeply, soulfully, and heartfully. My biggest point is this album is pretty much solely for y'all, in various cases, solely for y'all. You know, and um, the way I look at it, totally, you know, like I say, if you listen to my music for the past how many months and or years, you can tell that you've heard these songs, you probably heard most of these songs before. But what I've done is, for example, if you heard my Power of Influence album, you've already heard the song Young Wings before. You've heard that song probably like 10 times by now. Because I've legitimately remastered it. I actually haven't even remastered it. I just put a different beat towards it like 3, 4, 5 times. So you've heard that song before. But that is legitimately after the Bad to School album uh, inspiration video, which is the, I guess you could say the intro video to it, but not the intro song to it. After that, I got Younglings, Next Generation, Young Love. Now, again, if you listen to all three of those songs, it fits the skin fit totally and perfectly. Maybe not with Bat School, but again, with the youth and young life and young people, it fits the skin fit. And definitely, that's why I just put it down there, even though I'm not fully proud of it, because, like I say, I feel like I'm cheating the fans, because, like I say, it's a total difference when you have an entire 12 or more songs that are fresh brand new that nobody but you and God and will and whoever you, you know, you're working with when it comes you know with your team have heard before it's two different things when you're making it from, making it out from scratch different from when you're put pulling other songs from other albums to you know to you know fill five six seven slots it's total trust me it's a total difference I know the difference I feel the difference I feel like I'm cheating the fans right now but at the same time, you know, a majority of you probably won't care once you listen to the music. You'll still be like, this is still dope and raw and real. And thank you, NJ, for still bringing it to us. Well, you're welcome if you ever have that feeling and opinion towards it. But I'm telling you, yo, you, if you listen to my music for the past year, you've heard Young Links, you've heard Next Generation, you heard Young Love, you heard The Ambassador, you heard Legend Part 3, and you heard We Can Date. You heard all, all that. But again... Legend Part 3 was on my Forever Misunderstood album. Again, it only has five views. At least individually, it only has five views. So again, that needs to be re-rolled re out. And that's one of the top reasons why I just put it on there. I think, because one of the top reasons why I put some old songs on some new albums is so they can be re-rolled out. 
or the reason why we re-rolled them out like that for some songs is because they didn't get the impact they should have got as if it was like an intro or something like that. So I'm giving the song another opportunity to be rolled out again and maybe again and maybe again. So hopefully it can get more hype and more buzz and more people can listen to it. So forth and so forth. And uh, yeah, the ambassador. The whole reason why I just put that on here is because of the fact being, if you listen to it, like I said, I'm an ambassador. Slash, I'm the ambassador. You know, and if you listen to my music or if you listen to like the first 30 seconds, well not the first 30 seconds, like the first minute of the song, I'm saying I'm an ambassador of my school, niece, 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 niece. I'm saying it like the first full minute of the song. And that's the reason why I put it as, you know, as the intro. Well, not the intro, but that's why I put it on, put put it back on here. Even though it got like 24 views on the Power of Influence album, I decided to put it back on here. Not really so I can get more impact, just because, like I said, I'm trying to look for some fillers to fill this album up so I don't have to work as hard. I know that sounds selfish, stupid, and lazy, but at the same time, trust me, to a certain degree, I will still try what I can to give you all the best, real, and authentic material I can, because I don't want to feel like I'm cheating the fans here. And if I'm cheating the fans here, I swear to God, on my life, I'm going to come out with another album that, again, and this is not the Heart and Soul album, I'm going to come out with another album that, again, focuses on Bat School, and I will make it up to you all with all new songs. Don't know when I could drop that thing in January or February, for all you know. But the point is, if I feel like I've cheated any of you in this process of making this album, trust me, I'm going to make it up to you because I'm that real, that God honest, and that truthful. And, you know, and I, and I don't want to feel like I'm cheating the fans out of all new music for me. Especially when this album is supposed to be as dope and raw and ill as I'm making it out to be. Because, again, when you start from scratch on an album, that's legitimately. Now, when I say start from scratch, there's two different things to start from scratch when it comes to you writing writing out all new songs and you picking songs from your catalog. Starting from scratch means you have the ideas for the songs and you're writing songs from scratch for that album. You're not going back to your catalog, your catalog like I do on multiple albums. You're not going back to your catalog to try to find songs that fit the scheme fit. No. If you're writing, if you're doing this album from scratch, you're writing all new songs that you haven't written before, but you've had the ideas for. You're writing all new songs and you're recording it and producing it and getting it out there. You know, if you if you're making an album from complete scratch, that's what you're doing. You know, you come up with the songs that you want on your album and then you write those songs from scratch and then you you know record it, you know, attach the beat to it, and you do your thing with rolling it out. Now, what I'm trying to say here, again, totally, is the fact being that, you know, um, I know I've said in pre previous videos that I'm not afraid to go back to my archives and pull out three, four, five songs, you know, because uh, he, you know, to, you know, to, you know, to fill four or five or how many more or less slots on this album to finish it up, but I'm telling you, I feel like I've just cheated the fans because I just put ten pieces of work on this album that you've already heard before. Well, most of you, if you, again, if you've been up to date with my music for the last three, four months, you've heard all these songs before. Every last one of them. You've heard every last one of them before. For example, Should I Got Bust, my good, dear friend, best friend, um, you know, I got many best friends, but Should I Got Bust, this best friend, Mallory Pace, who once again, she is the uh, cover for the song Younglings and the cover for the song called Legend slash Old Friends. Love her very dearly, very much, and uh, hope she has once again a great future, great career, and everything that she wants to do and continues to have a great high school career. And then, once again, shout out got bust my other best friend named Mayna, who once again, um, I uh, what I do for her. Yeah, like I say, if you go back on the YouTube channel and go check out the song called Best Friend, which doesn't have a beat to it, but right there, the song of Best Friend, that's where I'm singing about her being one of my best friends. You know, so on and so forth. Nine minutes into this video. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like I just cheated the fans, but again, because this, this album was supposed to be from scratch, and I feel like I've cheated the fans because this album is not going to be from scratch, most likely. That's the problem. This album will probably not be from scratch. And that's how I feel like I've cheated the fans a little bit. Or not even a little bit. The way I just did it, I cheated y'all a lot. Because like I say, it's not to, it's not to say you're not going to get any music from me. Don't think I'm not going to roll out any new music. You're going to get a lot of new music. You're like Again, I put I just put 10, 10 bodies of work that, you know, where I just put, t you know, 10, 
10 tapes on here that, uh, like I said, I put, like I said, I put Younglings, Next Generation, Young Love, The Ambassador, Legend Part 3, and Weekend Date on here. Again, songs that, again, if you've been following my career, you already know, you've already heard of. Like I say, you know, the thing about it is, like I say, um, like I say, it's not from scratch, so that's the point. But those songs, in addition to the Back to School Album Inspiration video, my priorities are different video, and my priorities are different part two video, and the importance of the importance of the school video. The point is that's ten things that at least the the videos of like like the videos I just named the Bat School album inspiration video and such and such y'all haven't heard or you, you know, trust me not a lot of y'all have viewed so that's definitely gonna come by a surprise to you. But like I say, the mu actual music won't. That's the thing. If you've been following my career for like the last year, the actual music won't come by surprise. Some to y'all still will, but the biggest point I'm trying to make here is that, um, am I overall ashamed of, like I say, you know, not starting this thing from scratch like I hyped it up to be? Because legitimately, that's why I said that instead of making this album to come out in August, which probably should have originally came out in, but I was hard set on doing it in September because I feel like I needed just to have much more time. Well, guess what? I've somewhat exhausted that time and or slash wasted that time to where, like I say, I'm cheating the fans now to where you guys aren't getting an entire complete, uh, how do I put it, new from scratch body of work, like I've said before. So, but again, if you know me, you know I got so much music to, to make to where, again, I will make it up to the fans eventually. But like, what does that mean for us? That means, trust me, if this album is not what I told you it was going to be, in the beginning of this planning period, like all from scratch, don't be surprised if I come back with harder stuff on, or don't be surprised if I come back like, yeah, with harder stuff on the Welcome to the Game album in uh, October, or don't be surprised if I do another Back to School album in January. Which is, again, like I say, if you're focusing on timing, it makes perfect sense because again, from Christmas break, you're back to school, so it makes perfect sense, you know, for the second semester. But like I say, if I follow up through my plan, I'm not even supposed to be still, you know, in high school, you know, uh, in January. I'm supposed to be out with my diploma and come back as a volunteer if I stick to the plan that I again carried out. Well, not carried out, but yeah, but I've again planned over the summer. That's what I was supposed. That's what I'm supposed to do. But again. Uh, not only does everything happen for a reason, but plans change over time, and we totally see what happens when it comes to that. But my biggest point to you all is that if this album, Back to School album, is not what I told you originally it was supposed to be off from scratch, which is probably at this point not going to be off from scratch, I will do what I can to make it up to you all because I feel like I have cheated you. And trust me, some of you don't care because some of you are like, dude, this music is still ill and raw and it's still authentic. And we still love it. We still love you. Well, thank you if you do. Thank you still love the music and me. But again, I can do better than this. I know I can give you an entire new album from scratch. And I'm going to do that. If I don't do it this time, I will do it next time. And again, that does not mean that I'm going to come up with a Pat Squad album again next August or September. I'm not waiting that long. Especially when I, again, do this legitimately in my sleep pretty much. What this means is that, again, don't be surprised if January comes around and you have another Bat to School album. I guess Bat to School again, or Bat to School Part 2, or Bat to School Second Semester, probably. You know, probably Bat to School Second Semester would be a good title for that album. So trust me, I'm going to make it up to all the fans because I am not going to just... I'm not going to... Again, I have integrity, I have morals, I have identity, I have character, and I don't feel like I can do this to the fans when I told y'all that this album was supposed to be an entire from scratch album. I don't think I can do that to y'all. I don't think I can, you know, tell you it's supposed to be from all scratch. And then next thing you know, like I say, the first 10 things, or at least when it comes to the music, or the first 10 items you see are songs you've already heard before. And then, because trust me, I would never cheat you this bad to where, you know, most of everything from the first 10 you've already heard before. And then all I do is add two or five more songs. I would never cheat y'all that bad. I would never. That That is absurd and mediocre. That's just not who I am. That's not who I am as a musician and not as a, and not who I am as a person. I would never cheat y'all that bad. So once again, hopefully this album has 20 songs or more on it definitely now because, like I say, there's 10 that I just added. And we'll totally see what 
flows our way towards the, again more future productions with it. Take care, God bless. Once it's understand, you brought a man to take the city out. Take care, love y'all. God bless.